Right, we're going to prepare firewall rules, certificates, and endpoints for mirroring. So the first thing we're going to do, which I've already done, on our first SQL instance, oh excuse me, we're going to create a master key, database master key. We're going to create a certificate based on it. Then we're going to create an endpoint for mirroring. Then we're going to back up our security, um, back up our certificate. So I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to do it on my other server, which is SQL B. So I'm just going to change all of these. Do, do, do. Backing it up. And there we go. So we'll do it bit by bit. First we create our database key. Execute. Then we're going to create a certificate. That's created. Then we're going to create an endpoint on the TCP port 7024. Execute. And there it goes. And then finally, we're going to back up the certificate we created. Oh, there we go. Back up SQL B certificate to the C drive in our backup location. So if I go to C drive, backup, and oh, that's that is the SQL A instance. So just to show, there we go, SQL B certificate. So that's been backed up as well. Now we need to go to our domain controller to set up our firewall rules. So we're going to edit our group policy management object. So we go to administrative tools, group policy. There's our SQL policy. So we right click and edit. And then we go to policies, Windows settings, oh, security settings, uh, Windows firewalls, expand again. Then we're going to create a new inbound rule. So we're going to right click, new rule. And it's going to be a port rule. Click next, and it's going to be TCP, and I think it's 7024. Let's check our script. There we go, 7024. So we'll copy that, paste there. So that's the port we're going to be using. Click next. We're going to allow the connection. Then click next. Just have all of those ticked. Name, and um, we'll just call it sorry, mirror port rule. Finish. So we set up our certificates and firewalls ready for mirroring.